this is one of the scariest things I've ever seen on the internet because I know there are guys out there that'll fall for it. A little bit more tips on how I manipulate men. And I told you girls, when you first meet a guy, listen to everything they're saying because you can use their strength and their weaknesses against them. I've been telling y'all for a while that beauty does not equal virtue and that we don't have a race problem in the US, that we have a culture problem. Fellas, if you ever come across a woman like this, do not walk. Run. What's good team salute and salutations welcome to beautiful lies i'm your not so humble host el guapo and listen uh this is exactly why the passport bros movement is so important when you are used to beautiful women and you have seen true femininity you are less susceptible to the foolishness that you're about to see Real fast, shout out to the angry man. He showed this clip on one of his lives. That's where I saw it first. I had to go dig the thing up, but I'm glad that he's sharing good content. I liked the angle that he shared. We're just gonna come at it from a different way over here on Team Beautiful Lies. Let's jump right into it. Here we go. You go a little bit more tips on how I manipulate men. And I told you girls, when you first meet a guy, listen to everything they're saying because you can use their strength and their weaknesses against them. So for example, if they're a businessman and they're constantly bragging about how good they are, their businesses are going, you can say, babe, I know that you're struggling a little bit and I'm not too sure if you can help me out, but A, B, and C, D, this is what I need. Let me tell you something. That's actually good i don't think her approach is the right way but when you uh pick away at a man's ability to provide if he likes you he will tend to try to go above and beyond if he hasn't had his red pill awakening and if he's not surrounded by a throng of strong men that are savvy to the feminine wiles that exist uh especially in this country let's keep going they are going to be triggered beat. they're going to be like wait what do you mean babe i can help you out i'm not struggling financially like what are you talking about you are triggering emotion out of them to get something you want do you see where i'm coming and you girls are like so scared if you y'all just have to be bold for this and make it sound very innocent you do not want to offend him we can do this with our baby voices that's what angry man was talking about uh raising the octave of their voice seeming more childlike to engage that protect protective instinct in a man um i forget the word that he used it began with an n but it was it was angry man i'm impressed used a word that i don't even know so uh yeah but it's even deeper than this let's keep going if he's a doctor you can use um his strengths against him like he's super smart you can say babe i know you're just a doctor but no, you're just the doctor, but do you she know anything about did. this? He's gonna be like, yeah, just because I'm a doctor doesn't know doesn't mean I don't know. He will give you full on details on everything. He'll probably even do research to tell you about this topic. Like use these guys' strength or advantage to get what you want out of them. For example, if he used to say he used to have a really abusive dad, you can call him later on in the relationship. This is all fake. You can make up a fake ass story and be listen to this. She said if he had an abusive dad. Like, baby, I just got off the phone with my dad and he was yelling at me and he told me like, he's not paying my car insurance anymore and I just don't know what to do. I don't know who to talk to. Do you have any advice? Now that he has that kind of connections with you and the dad relationship with his, he is going to step up and he's gonna be like, well, babe, how much is it? How much, how much is it? You know, like, are you okay? Wow, that is some dubious, duplicious ish. I, wow. But I got to tell you, fellas, ladies are out here that exist like this, that listen to this type of stuff and try to shortcut the shortcut. But that's foul, shorty. You're oof. OK. Woo. Yada, yada. It's all a big ass mind game. I use their strengths against them, their weaknesses against them. And even when I was telling you girls, like in the beginning, just listen to everything they're saying. So you have an idea on who you're really talking to, who you, how the way you can talk to them. Because it, it's just like very like first psychology. Think about it. You tell somebody they're not going to do something. They're going to do something to prove to you that they can, especially if they can do it. You know what I mean? And 
like remember I told you girls oh boost the fuck out of their ego the Listen. reason why I tell you girls to do that is because I want you girls to break their ego before you ask for something so boost it then break it build them up to tear them down wow yo this is what's going on don't fall for the soft girl girl era thing let's say before you ask for a phone or something to get paid you can be like babe back then did they have phones so you can remind him that you're the prize and he's older than you he's gonna be like oh did you know yeah this is that and then only dumb dudes will fall for that and you can ask him for something because now he's reminded oh i'm she's the pretty girl here i'm the one that you know she's the prize gotta put these guys in check sometimes and there you go so uh Initial thoughts on that is that uh, it's sad when you find a person that is willing to go through all of that to get the result where they could have actually done less work and genuinely been a good person or done the right thing. I got a story time for you guys real fast. I was in 10th grade. Um, I was coming from private school, going to public school, went in the city. All the, the city girls were there and it was, it was crazy. I went girl crazy jacked up a semester real bad me and my buddy caleb broke into the principal's office and this is back in the day i'm dating myself when you would get your report cards on like an actual letterhead and they would you know send it home to your parents we stole a whole bunch of the letterhead went to the computer lab uh we took a uh, a uh, report card from a previous semester and for hours and hours we duplicated found the font all that stuff and gave ourselves passing grades. I ended up getting popped later on. My mom ended up finding the thing like months later. I think I was grounded the whole summer. Anyway, the point is, one of the things that my mother said to me when that happened, she was like, El Wapo, all the work that you put into doing that report card and dealing with the stress and pressure, you may as well have just done the work and had good grades because you still got to make it up. And she was right. She was absolutely right. And that was a turning point for me. So ladies, uh, I get that you're doing this, but you could just be cool. You know what I'm saying? You could just be a good woman. You could just be feminine. You could just put in the work. Um, but sometimes, you know, people are evil. And one thing that I will say is I don't know Shorty, and I wanted to give her a pass until I saw this. Oh, you girls know my channels about manipulating men, taking money from them, playing them. And a lot of comments say, do you ever feel bad? Do you ever think that karma is going to get to you? The simple answer is no, I don't care. I don't feel bad at all playing these men. No remorse, no feelings towards them at all. Every time I do a guy dirty, the only thing that goes through my head is, did I elevate? Am I in a better position than I was yesterday? Am I happy? And if all those answers are yes, then I did amazing. I could care less. I actually envy myself a lot. If the most smartest people on this earth said, if you don't need to work, then don't work. I found out how to not work and get my business fun just by the way I talk. I could care less about how these guys feel. If their heart's broken on because of me, that's something they need to personally deal with. That's their fault for getting their hopes up. Don't care. That absolutely speaks for itself. Um, ladies, at this point, you guys need to start policing each other. And you can no longer get mad at a man for wanting to completely disengage from the disgusting culture that we have here and the, the horrid relationship pool that we have. It's this bad. You have to worry about getting taken advantage of by somebody like that. It's not worth it. So I will say this, and I mean it. Uh, I've said that I'm not a passport bro, but dag on it. Shoot. I, I would love to be an, an honorary inductee. Brothers, get your passports. Go travel, deal with real femininity, women that like being women and aren't trying to get over on men, not to this level at least. So it's been real, it's been fun, and we'll see you on the next one. El Wapo, out.